Hi, I'm Misfit of MUG. And I'm JB. And it's August 17th, 2013. And this is Spawn Beacon's weekly update. To start our weekly update, Grand Theft Auto's online trailer was revealed Thursday. Click here to see the video of the trailer. And continuing the GTA 5 news, the multiplayer is set to release October 1st, but wait, the game comes out September 17th. What kind of sense does that make? Well, according to Rockstar's director, he wants to release GTA multiplayer a few weeks later so everyone can get familiar with the new Grand Theft Auto engine. Considering that it's made up of a numerous different things from the Rage engine, It'd be nice to give multiplayer a bigger, intense feel after you've already got the handle on the game. Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition has been announced. It only costs $120, and it comes with exclusive Arkham Origins premium statue featuring LED effects produced by Triforce, 80-page full-color hardcover art book, two key pieces of evidence taken directly from Gotham City Police Department Crime Lab, Batman Wanted poster, Batwing, prototype schematics, Anarchy logo stencil, glow-in-the-dark map of Gotham City, Wayne family photo, Assassin's Intel dossier, which includes files on the eight assassins as well as the Black Marks contract, first appearance, Batman skin, Deathstroke challenge pack, unlock the ability to play as one of the world's most deadliest assassins, also includes two bonus challenge maps and two bonus Deathstroke skins, and a necessary evil supervillain of DC Comics. This new feature length film do documentary from DC Entertainment and Warner Bros. Home Entertainment focuses on DC Comics' most terrifying villains. Legendary actor Christopher Lee narrates the film, which features exclusive interviews with Richard Donner. Guillermo del Toro, and Zack Snyder, and many others. Revolution in Gaming, a girl AI character is in Call of Duty's Ghost. A statistic taken by the ESA, Entertainment Software Association, shows that 58% of gamers are female, the remaining 42 are male. So what is this information brought forward? Well, all the guys are asking, where are them girls at? Turns out that the majority of the girls don't use Mike because of the fact that dudes make nothing but kitchen jokes and hit on them. Not mentioning names. Paramount Pictures has moved the release date of the Michael Bay produced film Ninja Turtles from June 6, 2014 to August 8th. Deadline reports that it's because Transformers 4 comes out on June 27th, though that date will also likely change to June 25th as it's tradition with Bay films to open the Wednesday of that week. For those of you who don't know, Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer World Premiere was released Wednesday. Click the pop-up on the screen to see it, wherever it is. The gameplay had a bunch of new things, but the same thing, viewers said they saw the same stuff from previous Call of Duties. I saw great potential and a lot of promise to the new Call of Duty franchise. I just hope that the gamers evolve with the game. I'm talking to you, Quickscopers. It's not a skill. It's annoying. Developer Upheaval Arts has launched a Kickstarter campaign for StarCraft Universe. Originally, the game is supposed to be the rumored World of StarCraft, and the developer is looking to hit the goal of $80,000 by September 10th. They did state, quote unquote, while Blizzard is not directly affiliated with this project's production, we do communicate with them to submit bug reports and make technical requests. They have given their blessing slash permission for us to launch this Kickstarter, and they are supporting our efforts by featuring SCU and Arcade Highlight. For all of you guys wanting the world of StarCraft, help out this developer so you can finally play the game. Could Simon Pegg be in Edgar Wright's new Ant-Man film? Earlier this week, Simon tweeted this image of him pointing at Ant-Man. This could be seeing how Simon has been the star in three of Wright's films. That would be awesome. Simon Pegg is a great actor and an all-around funny guy, and him as Ant-Man is practically perfect. American Express has started working with Riot Games to work on League of Legends themed debit cards that offer in-game Riot points for spending real money. Those who first sign up for the cards will receive 1,000 Riot Points followed by 1,000 more after loading $20 of credit into the card. What do you guys think about this? Would you sign up for this debit card? Battlefield 4 will release a new map and game mode during GamesCon August 20th. Wait, that's actually in a couple of days. So get ready for some of the best all-out war gameplay that the next gen has to offer. 
Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition has sold over 8 million units and generated a revenue of over 160 million dollars for the developers 4J Studios. Along with that news, creator Mojang is holding their third annual Minecon in Orlando, Florida from November 2nd through the 3rd. Tickets officially went on sale last week at $150 each and are currently sold out. Sorry for all those Minecraft fans who wanted to go to Minecon this year. Looks like you're going to have to wait till next year. Microsoft is going to announce a unique Xbox One exclusive at Gamescom. Phil Spencer said, We're going to have a short stage presentation with some news and a unique exclusive coming to the platform. I can't wait. For all you Avatar fans, the wait is over. The Legend of Korra Book 2 premiere date has been revealed. It is set to release Friday, September 13th, 7 p.m. on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Splinter Cell Blacklist is set to come out next Tuesday. The game continues after conviction and has a bunch of promise for multiplayer. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But I am a little disappointed that they changed the voice around. Really? Not British? Come on, guys. Really? Call of Duty Ghost Prestige Edition comes with a 1080p helmet cam. I'm not you. Along with that comes the season pass for Ghost and all of its DLC. Exclusive Freefall DLC map, which is probably just going to release later like they always do. Collectible Steelbook, Player Patch, Player card, player background, and exclusive soundtrack to Ghosts. All in all, it seems pretty epic. Can't wait. And that concludes Spawn Beacon's weekly update. We have a new video coming out this week, which is starring me and JB here. And it actually is our first Let's Play. Uh, first, Spawn Play, where we played the Portal 2 co op campaign. And because it was the most irritating thing in the world. Never. Irritating? You want, no, ir you want to know what's irritating? Helping you pick up pieces of my controller off my floor. Exactly. We'll see you guys next week. Maybe. Good idea. Um, where's right. my phone? Where's my phone? Here, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi, I'm Misfit of MUG. And I'm JB. And this is Spawn Beacon's Weekly Update. On the week of August 17th, 2013, Zach fucked up his line. Yes, I did. <laughs> Speed placement, please. Remember that? Always? Dude, it's always in the same spot. I don't know why you ride my ass so fucking hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know why. No, I'm also on JB, too. Uh oh. Are you eating that skill? <laughs> Oh, gross. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I vacuumed the floor and that spat out. You didn't vacuum. Oh, well, it was right there on the floor. The, my damage, is done. the over. damage is done. Call of Duty Ghost Premiere is over. Now we're moving on to the Prestige Edition. I like that recovery. One, two, one, two. Do it again. <laughs> I was like, damn it. I thought you were going to make it. I wasn't going to continue with that.